for effect. It is dawn's light near Carrington, France. 23 days have passed since the initial Allied beach landings along the coast of Normandy. 3rd Battalion of the 314th Infantry Regiment has been rotated forward to spearhead an assault across restricted terrain to enable supplies and men of the 79th Infantry Division to continue its southern drive through France and towards Germany as part of the Greater Allied Offensive. 3rd Battalion's commander raises his binoculars hung around his neck to scan the wet lowlands south of the battalion command post. The broken farmland is cut off by a single irrigation ditch running west to east with a lone bridge going over it. The bridge leading into soggy, flat wetlands that breaks slowly above a layer of mist and fog that gives rise to the soft, subtle bluffs of Hill 121.5. He knows that hill is most likely heavily fortified by his enemy, as well as providing good observation to call in fire support from nearby mortar batteries. The battalion commander takes a moment before the assault to brief his subordinate commanders once more on their assigned tasks within the battalion's schema maneuver. The operation begins as scout elements detach from their respective units to probe the German defenses and identify opportunities to exploit. Almost immediately, these lead elements are cut off from advancing over the bridge by German mortars. The officer in charge of I Company Recon Detachment orders his men to hunker down and allow the German barrage to pass before continuing towards the objectives. I Company scouts resume their slow advance south once the German mortars let up. The scouts reach the bridge, followed closely by the battalion sappers who are ready to breach the obstacles blocking them from crossing. Unknowingly, they enter a minefield and take light casualties. The sappers successfully clear the obstacles in front of the bridge. 
making way for the battalion's continued progress. Tanks from 749th Tank Battalion arrive on scene to support the battalion's assault of Bill 121.5 from Overwatch positions on the north side of the river. Most I Company scouts begin to make contact with enemy battle positions south of the bridge. Battalion mortars fire spotting rounds in preparation of a larger smoke screen to be used to conceal I Company's advance across the river and movement to its assault positions. Second platoon, who has bogged down in the wetlands near the bridge, comes under accurate and sustained sniper fire from a grove of trees on the right flank. Center tank begins opening fire on suspected German positions from its position of overwatch with a stone building on its right to provide cover from flanking fire. The smoke screen laid down by Allied mortars begins to form, but to the dismay of the battalion commander will be mostly ineffectual due to poor timing and poor placement. This will, however, do little to slow down the American advance as the tanks on the right flank make their way to their overwatch positions and join with those on the left and center to form a mass of sustained and deadly suppressing fire. Some of the I Company weapons teams have bogged down around the bridge due to German machine gun fire. This proves to be a fatal mistake as German mortars quickly zero in on them with deadly effect. Sherman on the Allied left deflects a single round off its hole from a 75mm German pack gun. There are no casualties and nothing is damaged. The 
German AT gun continues to fire with little success and is quickly identified and is placed under intense fire until it goes quiet. Fire for effect, over. Soldiers of 2nd Platoon I Company continue to make their way along the shoreline of the irrigation ditch, ducking just below the small amount of deflated it provides. Another German fire mission rains more rounds down on the Allied advance, taking with it a few American infantrymen. Italian mortar batteries fire a few spotting rounds before raining down a steady stream of explosives across the German front. The main body of 1st Platoon attempts Let's moving go. up to and across the bridge but are met with machine gun fire, causing them to hit the dirt and find some cover. Fire for effect. Over. The rear element's leader does not seem to get the memo. Move it out, men. Fire for effect. Fire for effect. Oh. 